5 best Android apps for screen recording and other ways too. 1. As Screen Recorder Price, free, $2.99. As Screen Recorder is the gold standard for screen recorder apps. It's light, easy, accessible, and cheap. It features an overlay button that doesn't interfere with the recorded content. In addition, you can add the front-facing camera for things like game streams or commentary. It even has a small video editor built in. That way you can shave away the parts that don't matter. Of course, it doesn't require root, has no watermarks, no time limits, and more. The Pro version goes for $2.99. It's probably the best and most popular screen recorder available. 2. Google Play Games Price. Free. Google Play Games is not just a hub for your mobile gaming. It also has a screen recording function. It works rather well. However, it is mostly only for gamers. You launch the game with the screen recorder directly from the app. It records your stuff and then stops like it should. You can get around the game's only limitation by exiting the game mid-recording and then going to whatever app you want. However, at that point, we'd probably just recommend As instead. It's probably a better option for gamers rather than normal stuff. 3. Screen Recorder by Kim C929 Price. Free, up to $20.99. Screen Recorder by Kim C929 is a good, simple screen recorder. It does the basics quite well and has support for several languages. Some of the features include recording the screen, taking screenshots, support for the phone cameras, and some super basic video editing at the end of your recording. It's good for the simple stuff like showing off something on your phone or something like that. We still recommend as screen recorder first, but this isn't a bad, and simpler, option. The free version worked very well as well. 4. Twitch and similar screen recording apps price, free. Many streaming services now include mobile support. Twitch and YouTube gaming are two of the most prominent ones. You simply stream your gameplay like normal. Both services allow you to download your footage after you're done. It's a good solution for gamers especially. In fact, it's probably better than Google Play Games for this kind of stuff. Unlike Google Play Games, it's kind of difficult to use this one for apps or anything other than gaming. At least these services are free. 5. Visor and similar apps price. Free with ads, $2 per month, $10 per year, $40 per lifetime. Visor is a fun little app that allows you to cast your device to your computer screen over USB. From there, you can use it on your computer or screen record it on your PC if you'd like to. It tends to work pretty well although you will need to fork out a little bit of money in order to get HD quality. This app doesn't record anything on its own so don't expect any options to do so. You'll have to record it on your computer on your own. If this app isn't cutting it for your TeamViewer is another decent option in this space. You do need a screen recording app on your computer in order to capture footage, though. Other methods for screen recording. If you're on a device with Android Lollipop, or higher, you can use ADB to record your screen. We have a great tutorial you can read to learn how and you can find it by clicking here. Additionally, Android 11 has a native screen recorder. If the feature makes it to the full version, that'll be the new easiest way to record your screen. Professionals often use a capture card to hook their Android device right into their computer and record it from there. Capture cards can get rather expensive but you'll get probably the best frame rates and quality. Plus it records directly to your computer hard drive which allows for much larger recordings. Do note that you'll have work around some potential HDCP problems so get the old search engine up and running. Most capture cards come with screen recording software. That solves that problem for you. There are other apps like Visor on the Google Chrome App Store. The basic idea is to connect your phone to your computer. It then mirrors the screen directly to your computer. From there, you just have to figure out how to record it yourself. It's not the easiest method by any stretch. Each app also has a different setup. However, it is an option. Thanks for watching.